Welcome back to Nurses Nook and Corner. Today in this video, we are going to know about practical knowledge which would help you to apply in clinical setting. Continue to watch till end to make it easy. Before going to the topic, if you didn't subscribe the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the uploaded videos immediately. As a nurse, we handle many agitated and sedated patients, especially in critical care. So it is important to know about RAS that is Richman Agitation Sedation Scale which helps to identify the patient level. Why Richman Agitation Sedation Scale? It helps to assess the sedation level and level of consciousness in the patient. It is a scale which helps to assess consciousness in both patients receiving sedation medication and those who are not. Hence we come to know whether the critically ill patient behavior is sedated, alert or agitated. Why we need to use this RAS in critical care? It asks whether the patient is able to arouse, that is, can we wake up the patient from sedation or after arousal, the patient is able to be calm or become agitated. And this assessment helps to describe the patient condition to the doctors so that we can able to manage the patient according to the score. In this slide, we can see about the scoring. It is a 10 point scale from minus 5 to plus 4 and the negative minus 5 to minus 1 assess the level of sedation and positive plus 1 to plus 4 assess the agitation level of patient and neutral 0 the patient will be alert and calm. Let's see in detail one by one. First let's see the negative score of RAS. Minus 5 is anarosal, minus 4 is deep sedation, minus 3 is moderate sedation, minus 2 light sedation, minus 1 awakens to voice. Let's see in detail in the upcoming slide. This is the positive score of uh, RAS. 0 is alert and calm. Plus 1 is uh, restless. Plus 2 is agitated. Plus 3 is very agitated. And plus 4 is combative. Now let's see about the RAS procedure. It is an assessment which takes about only 30 to 60 seconds. That is less than a minute. The scoring assessment is based on observation and response to auditory and physical stimulation. Now let's see in detail about the procedure step by step how to assess the patient. The first step in assessment is to observe the patient whether the patient is alert and calm so that if the patient is alert and calm you can give a score of zero. Next you observe the consistency of the patient that is the, does the patient have a behavior with restlessness or agitation. If the patient is having any restlessness or agitation, then the score would be plus 4 to plus 1. In case of plus 1, patient will be anxious and restless. There will be simple turning and movement but not aggressive. In case plus 2, patient will be agitated. There will be a non-purposeful movement. That is the patient would suddenly try to get up from the bed and fights the ventilator. Plus 3, Patient will be very agitated that is they start to pull out the catheters and lines. In case of plus 4 they are combative that is the fight or argue they will be violent and sometimes it may be a danger to the staff. Hence we have to observe the consistency and score according to the patient level. The next is in case negative that is the patient is in sedation we have to give minus 1 here the patient awakens to voice where eye opening and eye contact will last more than 10 seconds. In case of minus 2, it is light sedation. The patient respond to voice with eye opening and also eye contact but it doesn't last for more than 10 seconds. It would be less than 10 seconds. Then you can give a score of minus 2. In case of minus 3, is in moderate sedation that is the patient respond to voice but only gives movement and eye opening there will be no eye contact to your communication if you come to contact to the patient they just open the eyes and movement but there won't be eye contact to their eyes next minus four is deep sedation that is the patient does not respond to your voice if you call out by their name or if you call out them they won't respond 
but they may open the eyes or give movement to the physical stimulation such as tapping their shoulder or giving painful stimulation then they may respond by opening their eyes or movement but they don't respond to your voice the next final is the minus 5 that is unarousable and patient does not open the eyes or give any movement to both the verbal as well as physical stimulation uh, this is the K that has been demonstrated as excellent inter-rater reliability and validity in a broad range of adult medical and surgical ICU patients both on sedative infusions and in absence of continuous sedation. In patients with severe auditory and visual deficits, the RAS is not suitable tool to assess arousal and agitation. Hope that you have gained knowledge on RAS skill. If you have any queries or suggestions, contact us through nursesnookcorner at gmail.com or give in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you didn't subscribe the channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the uploaded videos immediately. Once again, thank you.